Welcome back for another Waterfowl Wednesday, guys. We're going to bring the Waterfowl Wednesdays back. So if you enjoy watching some educational content or uh, want to learn a little bit more about duck hunting and duck hunting things, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and tune in every Wednesday because we're going to be talking ducks all the way up to season starting in September. Today, what I want to do is dive into some basic stuff. Some of you people are looking to upgrade your shotguns. You want to know a little bit more or you're just getting into duck hunting and you're trying to find a gun that will fit you and uh, will work well for what you want to do because there's a lot of different guns on the market. There is a wide variety of uses for each specific gun. If you guys have a new duck gun or you're looking to get one, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. I want to know what gun you guys like to shoot and some reasons why you guys like them. Let's make this comment section blow up into almost like a forum page where when people in the future come through and they're trying to decide what new duck gun they want to get, they can read your comments on all of the, the reviews that you can leave for your guns that you use. First of all, we got three different types of guns on the table. We got semi-automatic, we've got an over-under, which is brake, but these uh, over-unders, uh, I'm gonna call that just the brake gun because they're single shot, they're side by side, and there's over-unders. And then the good old trusty pump gun. Those are the three that we're gonna be talking about today. First of all, when you're picking out a duck gun, you need to know that duck guns get used and abused. So anything with a wood stock, personally, I wouldn't recommend taking it, I mean, feel free, but you can see like this was my first real duck gun. Like when I got into duck hunting, this Mossberg 500 was what I was using. I feel like I took pretty decent care of it, but you know, there's definitely dents and dings and scratches all up in the wood. So if you're wanting to keep a wood gun looking nice, um, save it for the upland field when you're walking. Waterfowl hunts can get muddy, wet, gross, like you never know what you're gonna end up doing with your shotgun. So wood stocks, not preferred. Synthetic stocks are fantastic. Another thing to consider is um, barrel treatment. So this is the M2 with a Cerakote finish on it. So the Cerakote is gonna help prevent rust and it's just gonna prolong the life uh, of the barrel and the receiver here so it's all going to look nice later down the road now like if you take a, a look at the winchester and my boat my old boat paddle uh this guy did not have a cerakote finish so it like the barrel is just covered in rust uh due to neglect layout boat hunts and just years and years and years of abuse so keep that in mind barrel treatments are really nice they uh will make your gun look nice for longer. We're looking at different price ranges for guns. Your over-unders and your pumps are going to be on the cheaper side, uh, depending on what over-under you get, of course. And then you have your semi-automatics, which are going to be higher in price. If you go over-under double barrel, it's going to be a great all-around gun. I like having two different chokes. Like There's some perks to using an over-under, but I honestly would suggest steering away from them as a duck gun. Simply, here's, here's my simple answer is you only get two shells. So these three guns on the table will hold three. You'll have one in the chamber and the two in the tube. So being able to fit three shells in your gun, that's a huge perk. All three of these are great. Um, it just comes down to what you want to spend your money on. Like if you want to really invest in something, go ahead and get the semi-automatic. You're going to love it. And it's something that if, when you go from a semi-automatic to something else, it throws you off a little bit. So having auto cycling shells is great, but if you can't spend the money on that, get you a good pump. The three that I would suggest is the Benelli Supernova or Benelli Nova. Used it, loved it, great pump gun, wish I still had it. And then the Remington 870, another great option. Tons of people use those. And one honorable mention would be the Winchester SXP. Great pump gun, great waterfowl gun, comes in a synthetic stock and get it all camoed out too. So those are all great pump guns that I personally recommend. I've used, I've seen them used, and they work well. Mossberg 500, it's good, it's trusty, but I do think that the 870 is a little bit better than Mossberg. The pump is a great option for like, if you're hunting probably in Texas where it's all sandy and gross, and there's just a lot of stuff blowing around that can get caught in there. Sometimes the uh, semi-automatics won't cycle, so having a pump is kind of nice in that kind of situation. Semi-autos, the, uh, the king of the waterfowl blind, I should say, is the semi-automatic shotgun. 
you have two different options when it comes to semi-autos. You have gas and you have inertia driven. This Winchester is gas. This Benelli is inertia. I personally don't have a preference between gas or inertia. Your inertia guns are gonna be a little bit lighter. They're gonna kick a little harder. I think in terms of reliability, I have had a little bit more cycling issues with the inertia guns, just because like if you get layered up with clothing and stuff, or you shoot it at a weird angle, it doesn't necessarily like to cycle all the way through. I guess what I gotta say is, if you're somebody who is like really scared that your gun's not gonna cycle, go with a gas operated shotgun. But if you don't really care, like if you're fine with the occasional, you know, something something happens, uh, get the inertia. But uh, honestly, it's very few times where the gun messes up. One of the biggest benefits of the semi-automatic is you don't have to work in action to get your next shell to load. So you can pull it up, shoot your first shot, and then just continue swinging, and you just keep shooting your other two shells. So there's nothing taking your eye off the bird other than recoil. You don't have to move your hand. You don't have to do anything else. All you do is shoulder it and you stay on the bird and pull the trigger. It's really nice, but you do pay the price for it. The best piece of advice I can give somebody who's looking for their first duck gun or a new duck gun is to go to a store and shoulder them and feel how they feel. Pick them up. How's the hand feel? How does it feel with your cheek and on the stock and the shoulder? Like how does it all line up? Because each gun is going to feel a little bit different. Um, like even switching between this Benelli and that Winchester, so you can see that this pops up on top. It's got a raised rail. Um, <laughs> and the Winchester's got a bit dented rail. <laughs> but it's a little bit more flat. So the sight line's a little bit different. So those are all things to consider. Lots of different things. This one's got Comfort Tech stock. This one doesn't. There's so many options. So go to a store, talk to an associate. They can help you out and make sure to put it on your shoulder, see how it feels and go from there. Or you could also see if you know somebody who's got a gun that you're looking at buying, see if you can go to the range, shoot it a few times, see what you think. You want to have a gun that you know is going to get beat around. You're going to need a gun that can cycle in cold, harsh conditions, icy, wet, muddy, they're gonna go through the ringer and you want a gun that is made to do that. Make sure to go check out the comment section. There's gonna be people chiming in letting you know what guns they use and the pros and cons to those. Uh, personally, I think if you can get a higher end Winchester, Benelli, Beretta, or a Browning, those are all great options to uh, get you along on your way. So uh, I love my SX4. I love this Benelli M2. Super Black Eagles are great. Um, like I said, Supernova, Benelli Nova, SXP, there are tons of great options, A400, A300, like there's a lot of options out there. Do some digging, see what you like, and uh, see what feels best to you in store. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to just tune in next week for another Waterfowl Wednesday.